Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how you can use TKinter to put an image into a label. And by the end of this tutorial, you should have something that looks a bit like this, where you have the Python name, the Python logo, all wrapped in a TKinter window. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you may have noticed that the Python shell I'm using for this tutorial is a bit different to the normal one. That's because I'm now going to be doing my tutorials and switching between Visual Studio and Anaconda, all dependent upon the aim of the tutorial. They both have their pros and cons, and I'll go through that in a different tutorial. Let's get started with this one though. So in order to get the image into a TK into label, the first thing you'll need to do is to create your tkinter window. And if I just finish hashing out these, I can let you know. So first thing you need to do is import tkinter and I've given it an alias of tkr. So wherever we reference tkr, we are calling the tkinter module. The next thing you need to do is import pil as p. And then the final thing you need to do is import a subset of PIL called PIL.ImageTK and give that an alias as PTK. And the reason you need to import um, separately a different area of the PIL module is because they have similar class names and if you just try and put everything into this single import, it won't work and the code will get confused. So the first thing you need to do after you've imported those is to create your tkinter window of where the image will go into. So what you do is type in window equals tkr.tk. TK. Remember to have the brackets with a big T, little k. And then the next thing I've done is if you type in window.title and window.geometry, that will specify the name of the window and the also the geometry of the window. Remember to put the name and the geometry in quotation marks. The other thing I like to do right at the end is go to the bottom of the code or the next thing to leave a big gap and put type in window dot main loop and then in brackets. And that helps to tell the code when it's finished and ready to compile and run. And when you've done that, you should have something that looks a bit like this, just an empty window frame with a specified dimension and the title here. If I exit that. And the next thing we need to do now is get our image and put it into our TK into window. So first things first, the image we'll be using is here. And what I've done is I've gone to Google and I've typed in, you know, Python logo and then downloaded it. And then what you need to do now is you need to get the location of your image and then put that in here, and then also along with the name of the image and the extension of the image. In this case, it's a .png file. And remember to put that in quotation marks. And I've equated that to pic. So pic equals our image with the extension and its location. The next thing we need to do is we need to load the pic or the picture into our Visual Studio TK Inter environment. And we do that by typing in p.image dot image dot open and then in brackets pick. And so what we've done here is we've loaded our picture here into our TK Inter Visual Studio environment. The next thing we need to do is type in photo equals, and then what we what we're doing here essentially is we're loading our picture into our TK enter, but using the image TK. So in this case, what the pillow module does or the PIL module does is it enables this picture to be loaded into the TK enter window. So after you put it into the sort of TK into the sort of Visual Studio shell, we also need to put it into a format or into an environment which can be used with the TK enter module. And that's what this PTK does. So if we type in photo equals, giving it an alias, and then type in ptk, calling our pil.imageTK, and then type in dot photo image, type in dot photo image, and then in the brackets, type in pick one. 
and that's given an alias of photo. That's a variable photo. And that is our photo here loaded up. And the next thing we need to do is create our label for the photo to go into. So if we type in tkr.label and then in, in the brackets type in window, linking the label, putting the label into our main window. And then hit, this is the clever bit. This is what links and puts our picture, our photo into our label. If we type in window comma and then image equals photo. So now what this does is it loads our photo, which is now TK into friendly, so to speak, into our label. And so the final thing we need to do is pack it in, pack it all in together into our window. So if you type in label one dot pack and then run it, we will get our TK into frame with our image in our label. A couple of other useful things just to let you know is that if you wanted to have a few checks, so if, if you wanted to check, for example, that the picture was loaded into your Visual Studio environment or your Python shell, you could type in pick1.show and that will just show the image. Now it's gone very full screen, but that will show the image. Very useful check, just like the print, but with a picture. Also, if you wanted to get the dimensions of the image, you could type in width, comma, height, and then equals pick1.size. And then if you put in, type in print, and then in brackets type in width, calling the width, and height, calling the height, and then run it. So if you forget this, but here, in this command prompt looking screen, you can have, you have the dimensions here of 601 and 203. And that 601 is the width and 203 is the height. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please do check out my other tutorials and please do subscribe if you really liked it. I've got many more on their way. Thank you very much for watching.